Hey Robot Makers, do you want to know how to log into your Raspberry Pi securely without a password? Then keep watching. So I'm over here in a Raspberry Pi. If I want to log into a different Raspberry Pi, say I'm going to copy something across or install something like Docker, then I need to log into that Raspberry Pi. So what I typically do is do, do SSH and then Pi and then the IP address of the machine I'm logging into. So in this case, 1.3. So then it asks me for the password. Now, if I've got several Raspberry Pis that I'm logging into, this can become quite tedious. So I'm logged in there, I can see I'm on node three. So I'm just gonna log out and I'm gonna show you how we can prevent that login from appearing, yet still be securely logged into the device. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new key. So we're gonna type in from the machine that we're going to connect from the following command. So we type SSH and then key gen. And it, what it will do is it will generate two new keys, a private key and a public key. The public key is the key that we give out to everyone. The private key is something that we only keep ourselves. Now we need to give it a file name to save in. So on this one, I'm just gonna call this one node three. It can be anything. You can use this key on multiple machines. So um, you could just give it a general name and then you can include a passphrase. It's recommended that you do so, but you can keep it empty if you want. So I'm just gonna type in a passphrase. Let's just type that in again. And then it's generated that file and it's done a unique hash in there, a new fingerprint. So this is unique to this particular file. So if we look inside that file, node three, and we look in there and there's a whole bunch of text. That's the private one. If we look in the public one, so that's got .pub, we can see it's got an SSH RSA key there. So that whole thing is the key. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna copy that key across to the remote machine and we're also going to install that key on our machine as well. So let's do the adding the private key to our own instance first. So this is unique to this particular login that I'm using. So I do SSH add and then the name of the file that we want to add in. So in this case, it's node three and it's not .pub, it's the private key that we're using. So do that, we type in the passphrase that we typed before and it's now added that private key to our keychain on our local login. So to copy this across to the node three to the remote machine, we use a different command and this one is SSH copy ID. So SSH dash copy dash ID. And then we do dash I for the file that we want to send across. And then we just give it the location of that file. So in this case, it's just node three dot pub. And then we need to type the IP address of the machine to send it to. So in this case, it's just that. And then it's gonna prompt for the password and that's the password to log into that machine. So we only have to type it this one more time. And then it's copied that across and we can now log in without having to type a password ever again. So if I now do SSH pi and then the IP address of the machine that we want to log into, it takes us straight in there without having to type a password. And we can do this, we can use this key on any number of Raspberry Pis that we want to connect to, or in fact, any Unix system. So this will work on Raspberry Pis running Raspbian. It'll work on other Unix computers, say it's running Ubuntu or any flavor of Linux really. And also things like the Jetson Nano as well. So anyway, you've got lots of different machines that you need to connect to using the terminal, using SSH. You can use this little hack to save yourself some time, but securely log in. So I hope you enjoyed this short video about how to log into Raspberry Pis using SSH keys without passwords. If you want to follow me on any of the uh, socials below, you can do. I'm all over social media, as you can tell. And uh, we go live every single Sunday. So there's a new show, live stream every single Sunday. Catch that at 7 p.m. GMT. There's all the different time zones around the world, depending where you are. Uh, if you want to also get more information about different robots that I've built so far, you can check out smilesfan.com. Smiles is the name of one of my favorite robots. Uh, and you can get tutorials and uh, there's a learning system on there as well, all completely free. If you want to help support the channel as well, you can do that by going to buymeacoffee.com slash Kevin McAleer and that will really help out the show and show your support and enables me to create more videos like this too. So I hope you enjoyed this and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.